I'm just really happy right now. I, I truly am very happy with the way that this turned out. For those of you that know and have been around the channel for a while, you know how much this series means to me and how happy I am to see this anime. And for those of you that are new here, hello, welcome, hope you enjoy. But yeah, as I said, this is one of the anime that I was really waiting for. This is my second experience waiting for one of my favorite manga to come out with an anime adaptation, the first one being Chainsaw Man, which I covered about two weeks ago, and now Pluto. Pluto is a story written by the legendary Naoki Urasawa, who you might know from stories such as 20th Century Boys and his most popular and critically acclaimed Monster. Pluto itself is an adaptation or a sort of a reinterpretation of an Astro Boy arc where now it's turned into a murder mystery. And so this will kind of deal with one of the points I'm going to address later on, but let me just get this out of the way. I am so happy with the way that they did this. I loved it. It was near one for one. Me and my little brother were watching it as Pluto was my little brother's first manga, and both of us were watching this just in amazement of how faithful they were as an adaptation, and I really liked the format that they did with each episode being an hour long, and just eight episodes for you to go through the entire story, as the manga is only around 50 to 60 chapters. And in this current venture that I've been on to watch more and more anime, one of the worst things that could happen is the pacing feeling very off from what you typically would expect. Now, an anime is going to be a bit slower than a manga at times, given the nature of just how it is. You don't pace yourself, sometimes you're a very fast reader, but here with Pluto, it felt like the pacing was perfect for how the series is, and I think that really has to do with the story itself. You see, it's not like with other series where you might be able to afford some room to cut things out or to add a little bit of fluff, but with a series that's a murder mystery, every piece of dialogue that Urasawa has written for this story is contributing to something. And so even though there are the long-term mysteries that keep you interested, for example, who is Pluto, where does Pluto come from, and the political affairs in the world, everything that's going on since this is a post-war story, and we're figuring out a bit more about the war and whether the causes were justified, and who's really behind all of this. And so even though you have these grand mysteries that involve a lot of different moving parts, I think what keeps us interested as readers or as the audience are all of the far more personal conflicts, as we have with the protagonist for the large majority of this series, Detective Geist, who is one of the seven most powerful robots in the world and will play into the main theme of the story as we see with characters such as Adam and Pluto as well, and that is the way that we deal with hatred. Now, there are the other characters who, of course, deal with this to certain degrees and lengths, but I think those are the three primary characters as they are the three primary to the story that really delve into that the most. And the way that the mystery behind the detective and all of that is subtly built throughout the series is one of my favorite things about the manga, and seeing it all come to life in the anime was beautiful. Now, real quick, I just want to talk about this because it's one of my favorite moments in all of anime and manga, and seeing it come to life so well, and seeing friends of mine message me about it, how, how impactful the scene was, uh, had me so happy. North number two. The North number two chapters, which if I'm not mistaken are chapters five, six, seven, and I believe eight as well, are what what an introduction to the series and for it to be in the very first episode of the anime made me very happy because what a strong first impression i have wanted to hear that blessed piano that that piece out loud and done and to see how they truly made a beautiful melody out of it and made an impactful moment with north number two and duncan and everything with that story is the example that i spoke to earlier of Urasawa being able to introduce all of these personal conflicts in this grand robot murder mystery story. Just think about that, this is about a country trying to get its payback for being unjustly destroyed in a war, and we're crying over an old man trying to teach a robot piano lessons. You see what I mean? The anime really did a good job of bringing it all to life, as well as a lot of the iconic shots, which are some of my favorite from the manga. And whoever had the idea to do the intro that way, with the suspenseful music, with using the manga panels, brilliant, chef's kiss, absolutely love you for that. Because if this Pluto anime would have started off with some J-pop music, not that I have anything against J-pop, just it would have been a rather strange <laughs> cho choice for a series like Pluto. And in the manga, the characters like the detective, Adam, Dr. Tenma, Pluto himself, were all ones that were really memorable to me. But the anime helped refresh since it had been such a long time. And I really fell in love with characters like Epsilon a lot more, like Hercules, as well as Dr. Goji. 
and I, I won't say anything further for those who haven't watched it, but then again, I don't know why you're here because, you know, spoilers. And for anyone who hasn't watched it yet, there is, don't, don't expect JJK fight scenes. That's not what this is. This isn't a battle shown and this isn't a martial arts series. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but this is a murder mystery. A lot of the tension, a lot of the conflict is built all through dialogue for the most part and there are moments of action don't get me wrong but again it's mostly dialogue in which all of this is created and built piece by piece but yet again urasawa does such a good job with intentionally making his dialogue meaningful and having every character play a piece into the story as i said characters like epsilon hercules dr goji as well as uran adam's sister were ones that were a lot more memorable for me in the anime and i think it really sold a lot of the more emotional moments as man dude they have me crying over a robot i haven't done that since wally -E. since fucking wally -E. wally -E makes me cry every time don't ask why i just i'm so happy to see one of my favorite and when i say favorite i don't mean like in the 50 no like this is this has stayed in my like top five ish for the last three years i adore this manga so i'm just in a very good mood don't ask me if it's anime of the year because i could care less about that all right uh, but to me as a hardcore pluto fan I am ecstatic to see how this anime was done well. At first, I got a little concerned if they were going to over-CGI Pluto himself, but no, they didn't. It was just mostly the tornado and all that, which is totally fine, but... They they just nailed the feeling of the series. Uh, in comparison to Monster, which could just also be the way the anime was done around that time, but Monster is far less saturated. It's a much more dark and bleak series in the way that it's presented. Pluto is a lot more saturated, vibrant colors, and I think that fits for the futuristic sci-fi setting, because despite this being after a war, this was a war that took place in a foreign land. So the area in which these robots would reside, it being all well done and neat, it, just, it all just feels right. Right. The music choice, the voice acting, the presentation, it just all feels right. I, fe I think that's what an anime should be. An anime should be a reminder as to why you love the manga in the first place. Because if you're kind of sitting there rolling your eyes waiting for the episode to be over and it feels like every episode you watch is a chore to completion, then I think there's a little bit of an issue. But with this, and again, it, it's largely due to the story itself, but credit to, to Netflix and everyone behind it uh, like just who just worked on this. Great job, because despite each episode being an hour, I could not put it down. I, the only time I had to stop was when I had to take care of some IRL stuff. But for the most part, with anime episodes, I'm like, okay, it's over. But no, with this one, I had to watch the next one. And that's such a great feeling, especially since that's the exact feeling I had when reading the manga. And in the manga, I appreciated the way that the story and the mysteries were built. And with North Number 2 and certain other things, the emotional moments stuck with me. But with the anime, those emotional moments hit so much harder, and I was so overjoyed to see it. With North Number 2, with Brando, with Hercules, with Geist, uh, I, I think I'm saying that right, unless I've just been saying it wrong for three years. Y'all can let me know as always. Everything with Epsilon, Adam himself, and of course Pluto, and everything that we end up figuring out about Pluto... It, it just beautifully came to be and the way that the manga ended itself and the way that they showed all seven robots in the aurora borealis was such uh it was such a beautiful shot and if there was anything that was confusing with the manga for example the teddy bear is something that confused a lot of people confused my little brother when he first read it i think the anime helps make that information a lot more digestible for people uh since you know manga readers tend to have the bad habit and i'm guilty sometimes of just skimming every now and then especially over actual important information uh, but the anime forces you to pay attention to this. So, great adaptation. I couldn't have asked for more. Uh, this is great because after watching the Hell's Paradise one, which I'll get into, I was a little disappointed. But this was this was the perfect adaptation for me. I don't I don't think I could have asked for anything else. And anyone who's a fan of Monster or is considering getting into the Naoki or Asawa works, I would highly suggest this one to be your first. And then if you're interested in more of his stuff, there's always Monster, 20th Century Boys, Master Keaton, and Billy Bat, all of which I have reviewed except Master Keaton. But yeah, I, I could not recommend this more. Just like with the manga, just go check it out now, 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 now. We are so back. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this has been The Masked Man. Everyone has a blessed rest of the day and peace.